Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing and using ICC printer profiles with Coral Paint Shop Pro 2018. Now before this video we're going to assume that you've already set up your printing preferences for sublimation printing, that is choosing the correct paper type and print quality as well as disabling the printer's automatic colour management. If you haven't done those yet then you can see one of our other videos or the PDF instructions supplied with your profile. So after we've set up the printing preferences correctly we're ready to install the profile and get set up with PaintShop Pro. Now the profile itself will have either been supplied to you by email or on a CD with your inks. So you can go into the CD or into the email, find the correct profile and save it to your computer. Today we're going to be using the Ricoh SG3110DN printer with City Ink Express paper and I've already saved the profile to my desktop. So to install the profile we simply right click and select install profile. Now you'll notice that no loading screen pops up there it is pretty much instant and all that clicking install profile does is it creates a copy of the profile in a specific folder on your computer so that the operating system and PaintShop Pro know where to look for it. So if you wanted now you could delete that profile off the desktop. So the next thing to do is to open up your control panel. Now the reason that we're doing this is that PaintShop Pro is very very different to other image editing software in the way that it handles ICC profiles. Most software will apply the profile when you click print but PaintShop Pro doesn't do that unfortunately. The, the only way that PaintShop Pro works with printer profiles is to set your printer, in this case our sublimation printer, as the default printer. So we'll go into our full list of printers. Right click, today we're using the example Rico printer, yours will have a different name. And we'll click set as default printer. Now if you use several different printers and you don't want your sublimation printer to be the default then you can't use PaintShop Pro unfortunately it is very restrictive in the way that it works with printers. So the next thing to do is to right click on the printer again and go into printer properties and this isn't properties it's printer properties which is a different thing and when that loads up we go into the colour management window and click on colour management. The next thing to do is to select the printer from this drop down menu at the top. It will normally default to your um, monitor. So we'll choose our example Rico printer and we want to tick the use my settings for this device box. We'll tick that and the profile selection we will change to manual. Now we add a profile and this is the profile that we've just installed so in this case it's the Rico with the City Ink paper so select that and click OK and now we can click close on here and OK on here and now we can close out of this the next thing to do is to open up PaintShop Pro, which is here. Now you'll see if we try to go to the print menu now it is greyed out because we don't have anything open. Which is fine, we'll just open any new document or a document that's already, already on your computer. Doesn't matter what it is, we're just setting the printer up at the moment. So we'll go to File, Colour Management and colour management and click there and it has not updated our default printer so we need to go into the print menu so file print then we click close and the reason for this is it's just a bug in PaintShop Pro it will not update the default printer unless you go into the print menu and then leave the print menu again it's 
again it's just a very non-standard program and isn't the easiest to set up. We do have all of these instructions on PDF that are step by step with pictures taking you through each stage so you might find that easier than following the video because the whole program is an absolute nightmare to work with. So now that we've gone into the print menu and then exited out of the print menu we can go into colour management again and now it's chosen our example Rico printer so we just want to select the correct uh, profile there there's only one available which is the one we've just set up so basic colour management is correct colour management is enabled you can ignore this monitor profile here and our rendering intent again with PaintShop Pro they've decided not to go for perceptual relative colorimetric absolute colorimetric and saturation rendering instead they've gone for pictures proof graphics and match which are old standards that used to be used but aren't really in use anymore and it's a little bit odd for a program that was brought out in 2018 to still be using these we will choose proof which is the same as relative colorimetric rendering and once that's all set up so we've got the correct printer profile it's using the correct printer and we're on proof rendering we will click OK and now when we come to print we'll just click print it will use the correct printer it uses the correct printing preferences that we set up in that other video so the color management is turned off in the driver and it's printing on plain paper and high quality settings in this case again your printer may be different to that depending on the video you choose and the printer that you're using but it will also have applied the correct printer profile so that's all fine next time we come to print from PaintShop Pro then it will use all of the correct settings now the only downside to this obviously is you cannot change your default printer because it then won't use the correct printer profile so you need to keep your sublimation printer as your default and you can't change that without messing up all of the profile settings unfortunately but as long as you don't change that then it will have all the correct settings every time you come to print and that is how you install and use ICC profiles with Coral Paint Shop Pro 2018. Thank you very much.